<laughs> um, this is root beer, so don't try to have any judgment. Hey guys, so it's Wahama and I'm back with actually a movie review for you today. I just finished watching Dope, directed by Rick Famuyiwa, who I've never heard of, and written by Rick Famuyiwa. He is somebody who I'm absolutely gonna be following from now on. Starring Shamaik Moore, I think that's how you say it, uh, Shamik, Shamaik Moore, Kersey Clemens, and Tony Revolori, who is the actor from the Grand Budapest Hotel. He plays Lobby Boy. Fantastic. Um, ASAP Rocky, who did a really good job. I don't know him. I just know he's a rapper, but he actually did a really good job. And Zoe Kravitz. Basically, it's a coming-of-age story about a, and a high school hijinks type story that breaks a lot of the mold when it comes to what hijinks coming-of-age stories usually surround. First of all, it surrounds a black kid. A black kid from a suburb of Los Angeles known as Inglewood, California. And him being a straight-A student, um, getting really good SAT scores, and him trying to get into Harvard. But the everyday things that he faces, and it is so funny. If you love LA, if you love 90s rap, and you love high school hijinks type movies, you will love this movie. And at the end of it, it has such a strong message that is so relevant and so important for what's happening right now in the States. And there was even a, sh like, I mean, there's so much that I want to tell you guys about this movie, but I don't want to spoil it. Basically, it surrounds uh, Malcolm and his two friends. Um, and just their daily going on. They're geeks, they're nerds, they get uh, bullied in school, but they're super into 90s rap and 90s music. So they dress like, came off set from Yo, Yo MTV Raps and, um, you know, really trying hard to get into college and just trying to navigate this world in which they are thrust into and they live in and they are trying to um, deal with. I love high school hijinks movies. I'm, I'm a fan of Superbad. I'll usually watch anything that Michael Sarah is in or that Jonah Hill is in. And so I'm a fan of that genre of movie. It does give me anxiety because I'm a crazy person. But like, I love that genre of movie. And this is the first time it's ever been about a black kid and it hasn't been about... It ha it's a... It talks about the trials and tribulations of growing up um, in a lower income and or in a neighborhood that has drugs or gangs and whatnot. It talks about that, but it isn't the fo focus point of it. So if you've seen Dear White People and you like that, go see Dope. Now, there's still some stereotypical women roles in this movie that I'm necessarily not into. For me, it's right up my alley. I feel like I just needed an all black movie to sit through this afternoon and I did and I got that and I'm excited about it and it's great. Roger Smith or Roger Gunnif, some sort of like Louisiana Creole middle name, um, Smith, and you know him as the light-skinned black man who's in every black movie. I remember him first and foremost from Get On The Bus, but he was in there as bad guy in it, and I just really appreciated all of everyone's work and effort in putting this movie together, and I was shocked at how many people at 1 p.m. on a Friday were in to watch this movie. I mean, it wasn't sold out, but I haven't heard anything about this movie. It's uh, No, I was actually checking Fandango yesterday to see what movies to watch, because I went to go see Jurassic World. So I wanted to see what time it started, and all of a sudden I see this movie Dope, and, I'm, and I see a, three ethnic kids on the front of the poster. So I click on it, and I watch the trailer for it, and I'm like, how come, how come, how, I feel like I'm in tune in the black community and how come I don't know about this movie? It was so worth it. It was just such a breath of fresh air and I'm so excited for the way that movies are going. I'm so excited to be joining this world that people get to create and I hope that I get to be one of those people who, cre who get to create in this world. So I, if they're playing it in your area, please go check it out. But there's just, there's some scenes that make you laugh so hard. There are some scenes that make you think. There are some scenes that where you almost want to like, you're like, oh, oh, it's touching the pulse. It's touching the pulse. Rice is jumping on the pulse of the community right now. The movie had a lot of issues that it spoke about. It even spoke about using the word nigga. So go ahead and watch it. And that's all I've got for you today. You guys have a fantastic day. Bye.